Welcome back to School of Calisthenics. Before we get into the lesson today, just click on subscribe there so you don't miss out on any of those videos before Tim tells us what we're doing today. It's definitely worth it because this is going to be amazing. So we're going to talk about today why you can't do a muscle up. And it's not like pointing fingers, we put up on a board, it's about this, it's about speed. Now not many people talk about that, so we're going to get into some science, this is a lesson after all. So follow along, take some notes, and if you've got questions, stick them in the comments below. Let's get into it. So why can't you muscle up? There's a few reasons why you might not be able to muscle up. It might be that you're struggling um, to get shoulder extension for that transition. You might find that you're pulling up just straight and you're hitting the bar. Or maybe you can't actually pull up high enough or you can't create really good internal rotation of the shoulder to help with that transition. But one of the big things that people um, can't muscle up for and they don't understand why, they don't know that they're, uh, that they're lacking it, is the speed of your pull out of that dead hang position. And Tim's gonna go through the science behind why that is. So the muscle up is effectively a power-based movement and we're gonna talk about the force velocity curve to put a little bit of background as to why it might be a particular challenge or something we need to train a little bit differently. And it's different to the rest of calisthenics because in the rest of most of the things like handstands, uh, human flags, levers, they're static isometric holds and we're not actually moving, we're trying to stay still, whereas in the muscle we're trying to be able to move fast. Yeah, on. absolutely. So let's take this, uh, the graph we've got here. So we've got force at the one axis and velocity across the bottom. If we take the curve here, we've got this relationship between force application or the amount of force that we can apply and velocity, the speed at which we can apply it. So up here we've got max strength. So this might be like a heavy, let's go like normal weightlifting terms of a heavy bench press. So we might put our one rep max or up to a three max rep, rep max on a bench press. We can't move that weight particularly quickly, but we can put quite a lot of force down. At the opposite end of the spectrum, we might take a medicine ball chest pass. So we've got a 5K med ball. We're just gonna launch it as hard as we can. We haven't got a lot of force. We've got a huge amount of speed that we can put that down, um, that movement down with. In the middle, we have our power phase. So we've got this relationship here in the middle of force and velocity. So moderate amount of force with some speed. So this is where our muscle up sits. If we're struggling to get above the bar and we're just kind of like the strength, the amount of force that we can put down means that we can only really get one pull up. We're going to be kind of sitting into this area of our max strength. The speeds are kind of things that being like exclusively speed based where you're not really, you might have speed, but when your body weight is hanging off the bar, you're not strong enough to shift that whatever, I weigh 75 kilos, so you're not, you're not gonna be strong to shift that weight. So it doesn't really apply that much, apart from when we sit it in with this relationship here. So a muscle up, we need some level of force to be able to get our body weight moving, so we've gotta be strong enough to do that, but we need to be able to put it down at, at velocity, and it's this component which we're gonna work on today, because people generally don't train calisthenics fast, and that's why we have people who can do 10 pull-ups but can't do a muscle up because they've got no twitch and they can't move quickly. Yeah, and we might be doing our pull ups and ending on our being able to do pull ups to our chin, but actually what we're trying to do is create momentum with this velocity to be able to get yourself nice and high. So once your chest is above the bar, then we've got earned the right to be able to rotate and transition over the top of it. But until you're able to produce enough force with that speed to create momentum, then you can get over and around the bar. But that's got to be getting to this high pull position, and that's what we're going to look at. Today. Let's go to the practical side. Okay, so our first exercise, guys, we're going to have a look at is about, I'm, just, I'm going to show you a basic pull up movement where you might be struggling. So, you see if you can relate to this. And then I'm going to get Jacko to put a band on, and we're going to show you an assisted movement, which is going to help us to train the, the, the central nervous system, is effectively what we're trying to work on with this movement to get more velocity and how that looks like to try and get higher above the bar. So, we see people doing pull ups like this all the time, and then there's a, must, a massive reason they can't do the, pull up, uh, the muscle up is because it's just enough struggle to get up there. Even if Jacko could rep 10 like that, he can get his chin over the bar 10 times if he's not getting out of that bottom position with any speed then that's where we're going to have an issue so to train that we're going to get him to grab the band and we're just going to use an assisted movement super effective and again the purpose of this movement is not about getting necessarily strong it's about being able to apply that strength that you have got at more speed or by high velocity if you haven't got a band the link in the description below for these rubber bandits specialist calisthenics bands 
Okay, so Jack is going to put his feet into him, into the band. He's just going to get into a normal pull position. We're not too worried at this stage about the, the line that he's put on and some of the intricacies of the muscle up. But what he's going to do is going to go dead hang and his job is to try and pull as high as he can and he's going to try and get the bar as low down his chest as he can. So he's kind of going waistline there, but you can see I want him to go dead hang still. And on that, on that mark of when he gives that trigger to go, he's literally trying to catapult himself up as quickly as he can. Obviously, we can then progress that and make it more difficult by using lower tension bands, so you're doing more of the work. But the real reps to this, you're going to go five to eight reps, focusing on that speed. As soon as you feel like you're losing that height above the bar, take a rest and then come back at it. We're also going to go, talk about rest guys, we're also going to go quite longer rest periods than these. So we might be working sort of three minutes between sets to really maximize your training opportunity. The system we're using is explosive, it needs time to recover, so don't try to rep 10 of these off 30 second rest because you're really not going to get that much adaptation off the back of it. Yeah, so it, it's a different way of training, training the nervous system as opposed to just trying to build muscle. Think about that force velocity curve Tim was talking about. We're training the speed, but yeah, even if you're good at pull ups, get really fast at them. And like you say, you can see me, I'm out of breath, I've only done a few reps. You need to let yourself have that good amount of rest so that you can fire maximum. It's not about working hard, it's about being smart and being for that speed you need to be fresh and it needs to be max. And max means ah, max, not uh, uh. So progression number two guys is just take the band away and we're now going to go back into our normal pull up movements but we're going to emphasise the acceleration phase. So this is not about putting a load of reps together, it's about going from a dead hang position preferably and then can you snap out of that? Now we talk a lot about dead hangs on workshops and it's a real foundation for a lot of our pulling movements but being able to hang into that slack position and then get into active tension quickly is a real skill um, and something you need to train. So I'm going to get Jacko to work into a dead hang and then his movement from this exercise is going to go quickly into an active hang as he then transitions into that pull up and he's doing the same thing. How high above the bar can he get? Okay, so we're getting rib cage there which is great, easy high enough for a muscle up. You can see he's just going to get that hang position and it's a quick switch on the power. Put that force down, I think that relationship Moderate force, high speed, get those two things working together. And this, the brain likes an outcome, right? So the central nervous system is gonna operate well. All you really gotta think about is get your, your chest as high above the bar as possible. The mechanics of how you go about doing that will fit into place, but just get high. Yeah, just think about pull-ups, you think about getting your chin above the bar, you gotta take that away. You're not training pull-ups now, we're training for a muscle-up. And the, the, the stakes have changed. It's now getting chest as high and high as high. You can get to your hips, <laughs> then you have been laughing. Reps stay low, rest periods are still high. Link those two things together, and we're doing all right. Okay, so once we started working well on those high pulls, uh, and another way to progress that and accelerate our learning in that is doing clap pull-ups, which are great because we're giving the brain, it likes to, the brain, the way it works, it likes to have an outcome. So when you're saying try and pull yourself as high as you can, great, but if you've got to give the outcome as kind of clap above the bar, then all of a sudden you're giving the brain that cue to go to. It's like if I ask you to jump as high as you can compared to jump on a really high box or touch the ceiling, when you've got that outcome to go for, the brain starts the way it likes to work um, and having that thing to aim for. So Tim's going to jump on the bar, he's going to show us a couple. We're just going to pick up a couple of key points. Firstly, like we said right from the beginning, we must be strong through range, so we must get to this bottom position. There's no point in doing these all uh, repping together, all high at the, that top position with the elbow always bent. He's going to come down each time and do these as individual reps. So he's going to start low at the bottom, snap out of that bottom position until he can clap and then catch the bar. Then, then he comes back down, he waits, he's in that dead hang, then he goes active, creates tension, bang, clap, back down onto the bar. They, they are hard doing them like that compared to, just show us a couple of Tim where he doesn't come back down, I mean, he tries to stay, if he stays high, you see that bend in the elbow, he's never accessing that deep position, which for your muscle up, that's one of those key areas where we're just not strong out of that bottom deep position. Um, and if you don't spend any time making, creating tension out of that deep position there, then you're not gonna get strong there. It's as, it is as simple as that, we get what we train for. So train the full range that you're trying to work through, give the brain an outcome it wants to work towards, like the clap, um, and uh, then you're starting to get explosive as well as high above the bar you've worked, uh, the force, uh, the, the velocity on that force velocity curve, and as you start to get higher and higher and higher above the bar and you get pulling to here, that transition becomes easy. So that's it guys, we've talked a lot today about speed and the relationship with force, and that may be one of the reasons why you can't get your first muscle up, because you're just not fast enough. 
Now, in a lot of training, it's a common thing that people just don't move, they don't train for speed. It's a very specific motor ability. So you need to some uh, specific exercises in your training program that are gonna really start to enhance your ability to move with speed, with power, and be able to kind of nail some of these more advanced movements. Everything else in calisthenics, levers, handstands, it's a lot around just kind of isometric strength. Yeah. This is power, so you need to train for it specifically. Yeah, and leave the ego at the door, guys. Something that I'm girls, something that I've been doing a lot of to clean my muscle ups up is using the band, working on that explosive pull with the band, where it's just flying me up there, but I'm training that speed and it's helped me absolutely no end. Um, yes, there are other elements to the muscle up in terms of you dip out that bottom position, the transition, we're gonna give you some more stuff on that, but this is one of the key things we've highlighted when we see people at workshops, we're not fast out of that position. We've also got a ring and muscle up ebook coming out soon that's gonna cover absolutely everything in there. One last knowledge bomb from me, we talk about it a lot in sprint training, but if you wanna be fast, you've gotta train fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. It's simple. Yeah, yeah, we get what we train for. So plenty of that stuff going and coming uh, to you. We'll bring you some more tips and that for your muscle up as well. But in the meantime, if you haven't yet, so you don't miss any of these new bits coming out, make sure you click subscribe. Um, if you haven't got and you're just starting, you haven't got our free beginner's guide, that is a must. It's free. There's video tutorials of every exercise you need to get started. That is down there, Tim. You're right. Um, and then for other how-to videos, uh, click up I have to move in that, that corner. One. Guys, that is it for today. I thanks think we've for, done good thanks today. For, thanks for like watching. Science, if, you have, oh, if you have any questions, comment below, whether it's about muscle-ups or it's about for Q&As or anything, comment below. We want to hear from you and we want to help you out. Class dismissed.